and Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season. Good evening viewers, welcome to Stepping on the High Waters. We want to thank God for his mercy and his grace, for his love and his wisdom and his understanding, especially in these times, in this new season. Even with the old season, we want to give God thanks for the past. We want to give him thanks for the present and we want to give him thanks for what is to come. Yes, the Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. It's nice to be in your homes once again. And this is a new year, 2023. And we know that God has a lot in store for us. So we have to position ourselves for it because he really does have a lot in store for us. So we have to position those who are out of position, reposition yourself for 2023. Reposition yourselves for 2023. And yes, I am Pastor Patricia Venus Henry. Yes, founder of Stepping on the High Waters and Laborers in the Vineyard. And you know, I like to say I am at Divine Destiny Restoration Worship Center in Crown Point. And I trust that your days are very fulfilled. And yes, I know there are so many things that, that are going on in our lives and we need to keep our eyes on the ball, keep our eyes on Jesus for this new season. That's, that one is free. So on set with me, I have no stranger. Minister Marva Berkeley, welcome to Stepping on the High Waters again. Thank you. Nice to have you. And every year we come in to the studio and we celebrate another year. So this year it will be 10 years for me on TIN and 11 years for Marva on TIN. Just a year apart. Right? And uh, we just want to give God <laughs> praise and thanks for a new day, for new beginnings, for, for new times in him. And uh, that is why I'm saying to you that we all need to reposition ourselves for what is to come. You don't want the ball to drop and you didn't catch it. Amen? So let's pray. Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks. You are worthy, O oh God. We thank you for this evening. We thank you for what will be said here this evening. We thank you that whatever word that was spoken will encourage another person to go forward and do what the Lord has in store for each person to do. We thank you for goodness again, health and strength. We thank you again, God, for another year, for another time, a new season, and we will walk in position we will walk how you want us to walk in jesus name we pray amen and amen well yes marvel <laughs> celebration time yes ma'am <laughs> it's 10 years stepping on the high waters and 11 years for the outpouring oh, yes and uh, i mean you have been outpouring for 11 years plus mm -hmm. right in ministry for a long time pouring out um assisting in retreats assisting in other people's ministry assisting in whatever area even though you don't know what to do um you ask the holy spirit what to do and the holy spirit will just ignite you to do and uh, I mean, it has been good. Yes, there were good Amen. days and bad <laughs> days. There were great days and worse days. 
but I mean that is ministry that is the apostolic prophetic and so many persons we want to see height all the time we want to see flair all the time we want to see um, you know sometime a ministry just started up and we want to just flare up and keep running but we, you and I know about the, the slow walks <laughs> we know about the fire blazing and there is no fire again and we have to maneuver through those days you you want to care to share uh, on times like those well um two words keep coming to my mind and that is consistency mm -hmm. and being persistent that's right and um it's important for us to have those as watch words uh, and uh, that's how we are able to go the distance because mm -hmm. there as you rightly said earlier on there are times when we are going to be on the mountain where you're flying high mm -hmm. the, with the eagles you know and other times you will be down in the valley that's right and uh, that's all part and parcel of ministry however the important thing is to keep going forward to keep moving to keep the momentum to keep building that momentum um, when I started, I had absolutely no idea <laughs> that <coughs> I, true, would be, true, true. I would be 11 years. I started, and I started on faith and believing mm -hmm. God. Each month, <laughs> I was able to pay the rent, you know, the, the, um, the fees for the program. And I had no idea how God was going to do it. And after I consistently did it for about six or seven months, a uh, business um, family said that they, you know, they just got to hear about what I was doing with the TV program and all mm -hmm. that. And they said that they will sponsor Amen. it for a few months. Bless you know? God. Bless God. And that few months <clears throat> turned into years. So much so when, when we were in the pandemic, um, I approached them and I said, well, I know things, you know, are slow and as a result of the pandemic. And they said, well, now is when the program <laughs> is needed more than ever, you know. So I really thank God for, for that. I thank God for good sponsors. I thank God that, you know, we were able to do this. Sometimes when we're doing stuff in ministry, you may get a testimony, you may get a feedback. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's very quiet. And um, persons, they don't, they wouldn't like call the numbers on the screen. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't use the bank account and yes, give to the, yes. to the um, program. However, while walking through Scarborough at different occasions, um, different persons will meet me and talk about the program. You know, mm -hmm. like recently, this guy, Ray Dalrymple, he said, I want you to keep up that good work. He said, I'm so blessed mm -hmm. with the program. And many other persons, you know, yes, just will yes, see you yes. and say that it's a blessing. So e Even silence. though in your mind mm -hmm. it feels mm -hmm. simple mm -hmm. that you are just sharing, but to someone is powerful, it's yes, potent. Yes, and you know, it, it's an it's a on-time word yes. for some persons. And I think that is what God wants of us. He wants us to, to not be running in the highs and lows, but constant, consistent, persistent, just keep moving forward. Keep that, keep that momentum. Keep dancing. Yes, and when you're in the valley, <laughs> when you're down in the valley, that is the time where you catch the wind and go back oh, up to the mountain. <laughs> so how do you feel? 11, I looked up 11. Mm -hmm. It means incompleteness okay. and this organization, this integration. I think it's, it also said Antichrist right. and things like that. And I believe that this year, really 2023, mm -hmm. is a year where um, those things that mm. were not completed last year and the year before and whatever, this is a time to start to put things together. That um, center that you may want to do, it's time to complete it, mm -hmm. <laughs> go at it again, <laughs> you know? Uh, um, anything that is disorganized, it is time 
And disorganized does not mean that you are disorganized. Mm -hmm. Things that you, you have not been putting together. You, you did not touch them as yet. You put them there and you have them there set for whenever. And I believe 2023 is a time for us to gather everything that we need for this season and work on it like the book mm -hmm. and stuff like that that yeah you're gathering mm -hmm. gathering notes you're gathering nuggets but can it could it be that you need to start to put proper pen to, to paper, paper and <laughs> you, you know, know and stuff like that i listened a few nights ago to um i was on dag he would mills pray and he was defining the destroyer. You know, the enemies mm -hmm. refer to as the destroyer. And yes. he said the meaning for the destroyer is to unbuild. Mm -hmm. You know, and he said enough of that. Uh, now it's time to build. The destroyer, he came to steal, kill, and destroy, to unbuild. Yes. But we have to we have to build and we have laid we have laid excellent foundations together on on these on two of our programs mm -hmm. and there are many other areas in ministry i mean we 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 cannot even begin to count or even talk about all that we have been involved yeah, that in, is so true in the years gone by and you know mm -hmm. i really thank god for that but now we building some more structure and we advance in the work of the lord mm -hmm. And um, we, we want to see the glory of God. We want to see more souls being saved. We want to see persons walking in stability and not being tossed hither, thither, and yon, mm -hmm. but being coming into a place of such good stability in the word and in the things of the Lord. Yes. I, I like this little nugget here from Apostle Vivian. It says... Um, if you don't like the road you are walking, mm -hmm. start paving mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. If you don't like the road that you are walking, start paving another one. That's a little nugget for February. Mm -hmm. And we, we should really um, start to walk those changes that we need to make, those, those, <laughs> those ideas that we have, but we have it sitting down there that needs to turn around. It's time for things to, to turn around, yeah? Time for things to turn around. So what, what, what are you saying for 2023? Um, well, I started, started the year with one word, joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's important uh, to to keep our joy because the joy of the Lord is really our strength and uh, our joy is going to be tested as we've confronted with challenging situations is the joy in the Lord that is really going to going to keep us also I believe it's a time to intensify yes intensify True. Truly. the walk Whatever, mm -hmm. whatever time you spent prior to now in prayer, increase. Increase, and it's 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 like a paradox or like a, 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 a upside down thing. But it's it's so strange that in any given day, the more time that I give to God in prayer, which which is more time, and uh, for some strange reason. On those such days, I accomplish more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> more yes, than if yes, I take truly, my time. And, truly, you know, truly. I accomplish so much more. Mm -hmm. So God would bring us into a place to work smart and not mm -hmm, hard, mm -hmm. to be on point, uh, to, to really accomplish. Because as long as there's life, there is so much newness, there's so much freshness. And before the program started, you know, you were talking about what Cordell was saying, mm -hmm. that he loves to travel so that he could live, mm -hmm. you know, and enjoy life. Yes. And sometimes if we're not doing anything, we could become so complacent and lethargic. And it's like we, we're going to go into areas of complaining because even that thing, if you don't like the road that you walk walking yes, on, yes, sometimes yes, a lot of yes. persons may want to just complain about the road that they're walking on, but never want to engage in a process of paving a new road because it would require, it would require yes. change. Yep, yep. 
Yeah, that is so true. And um, we have to be um, very persistent or I don't want to use the word final in our thinking, but we must come to a place where we finally said enough is enough. We must come to a place where we finally says, um, you see me, I need to change how I move. I need to change my walk. I need to change my talk. I need to change my attitude towards certain things, you know, because something might be very important, but your attitude towards it might be low. It may not be tasteful. So we and then we ask ourselves, why is this thing not working? Why am I at work? It's not working. Now we have to view, turn back the hand of time and view, turn back the clock and view this thing all over again and say, am I really committed or am I doing it because of convenience? And you know, I'm, I'm writing that book on commitment, not convenience. And many times you look back and you say to people, if what you are doing, you are not enjoying it, are you committed to it or are you doing it because of convenience, because someone said that you should do it, or you're doing it because people need to see you doing something. So when they ask you, you are in the, in the lineup that you are doing something that people would not castigate you or whatever word we use there, or reject you or stuff like that. But whatever we are doing in this season, we must be committed to it. We must, it must not be um, a time of convenience, you know? It must be from the heart. Go ahead. You know, um, that's a very powerful topic here, eh? the convenience, mm -hmm. convenience and the commitment. Yes, yes, yes. Um, convenience is, it could even, there could even be a flip side to it too. Yes. You know, we will do something only if it's convenient. Yes. And uh, if it's, if we have to go through any measure of discomfort or inconvenience, then we want to let it go. We couldn't be bothered. Mm -hmm. And this is where commitment kicks in. <clears throat> going against uh, all obstacles, going against all odds yes. to accomplish uh, what you set out to accomplish. And it may not be at a convenient time, it may not be all the ducks would not line up in a row. And sometimes you have to position your ducks and move and mm -hmm. move forward, mm -hmm. you know. So. It's, it's, really, it's really that staying power mm -hmm. and that focus. A steadfastness. Yes, steadfastness. We need to be, be in that. unmovable, steadfast yes. and unmovable, you know. My nugget last month was, for January was, <coughs> the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay, be patient, be humble. It will produce the fruit, right? But it says, but also don't forget to water it. Otherwise, the seed will not grow into the fruit. Remember someone once said, when you plant a seed, there's a period in which uh, it is there by itself. It's dark. It's in a mess. It's in, but you don't go every day to <laughs> dig up the seed. <laughs> <laughs> to see how the seed going, you mm -hmm. leave it alone, you know. Yes. And then it would it would spring up. But the the period of uh, life has so much to teach us, especially agriculture and farming. The, there's that dark, lonely time where you're down in the ground, in the trenches, mm -hmm. <laughs> like that seed, yes. and uh, you abide alone. And there's where you build that strength and that, that's where that seed will get its nourishment and it will begin to send down feelers, send down roots. Mm -hmm. So in much the same way, in that time we send our roots deep down into the word of God, into times of prayer and times of worship. And uh, then like the bamboo, yes. <laughs> after that long time you just yes. shoot, you know, you really yes. just shoot up. And that also remind me <laughs> of I was checking on something a few days ago and 
it reminded me of that portion of scripture that we use sometimes loosely. One man plant, mm -hmm. one man watered, and another man um, received the increase. Yes, reaped the harvest. All right? And I was toying around with it. Now, in the back, back in the days of gardening and stuff, you, you look at a number of things where gardening, um, how gardens operate, or how you operate in your garden. And I, this thought just came to me. And I said, yes, we, we loosely say it. One man plant, one man's, one man's plant, one man water, and the other man um, got the increase. But the person who received that increase or that inheritance must be committed to it must be committed to it <clears throat> why because if you don't have the energy the synergy if you don't have that love that commitment for the planting you understand me if you don't have that love and that commitment for the watering right so Say, for instance, you receive something that you know nothing about. You, do, you did not do the planting. You did not do the watering. All you, re you received. If you don't have that love in your heart for it, if you don't have that understanding and that wisdom, that intelligence concerning that, it will dry up. Mm -hmm. You will lose it. Because guess what? You didn't plant it. You did not water it. All you did was receive the increase. And how do you treat with that if you are not in that zone, if you are not positioned? It comes like a child with the inheritance. They don't know what, what mommy and daddy or granny, whoever, granny Lou did to save up, to work hard, to whatever. And you were presented with this gift of inheritance and you, you mash it up. <laughs> you destroyed it. Why? Because it was not in you. It was not a part of you. You, it, you know, probably how they demonstrate the gift to you. You probably never internalize it to say, well, they worked hard and it's a blessing and I will cherish it and stuff like that. And this is the same thing with whatever God is giving to us. <clears throat> and it's, a, it's also a value to other persons in ministry because mm -hmm. I think the context in which that, um, in which Paul spoke about that would have been like in ministry with like evangelism, you know, so mm -hmm. one, one area or one group, they may sow a seed, like I may be passing a certain person up and down and I would just say a little word, say a little word. And uh, somebody else may come along and invite that person to church. And then a the next person may say, mm -hmm. you know, may actually say, well, have you made Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life? And then he would, he would be like, well, I never really came to that place, you know. So this final person now will actually reap that soul. Mm -hmm. And uh, in so reaping, that person cannot... Uh, isolate themselves mm -hmm. huh, to feel well yeah. okay <laughs> i am it <laughs> because all along the way different persons and you know jesus said to us he said the harvest is ripe but the yes, laborers yes, are few yes and it comes back to that whole commitment yes and that steadfastness and that persistence because people are dying and they are going to hell they are going to a christless eternity and the onus is on us whether we sow a seed, whether we water a seed, or whether we get that final increase. But somewhere along the line, we have to always be positioned Amen. to put a word out there. Amen. Amen. I was looking at Psalm 15, verse 1 and 2, which says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. 
and we have to abide by those words. You know, we are singing this song at church, the kingdom of God is righteousness. The kingdom of God is peace. The kingdom of God is joy in the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, that song is in my spirit. Mm -hmm. And it seems as though the more I sing that song, it does something to me. The kingdom of God is righteousness. The kingdom of God is peace. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God is joy in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in Until there is a next line, something, something will be released, you know. So we just want to say, viewers, that um, we are celebrating still um, 11 years and 10 years. And we want to give God thanks and praise for coming into your homes. Uh, like Maeva, I know many people express their love and the gratitude and the thanks for our programs because it, it it especially one lady said to me oh lord um during the covid i was sick so bad mm. and those words of encouragement, encouragement yeah. kept me kept mm. up my spirit and we trust that this year that that spirit of elevation will take place on these programs and you would be even much more blessed to do what God said for you to do. So we want to give God praise and thanks for you. We want to thank Ms. Minister Marva for coming in again. And you will see us next week. She will be back next week. She will be back next week. So be blessed, be strong. Continue to walk. If the way you are walking or the road you are walking, you are not satisfied, please change the way you walk. Change the position that you are walking in. And you know, sometimes we are walking in this road and you heard the Spirit of the Lord say, take the left road, take it. Take the may left. save your life. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. God may want to also show you something. Or he also wanted to meet someone, mm -hmm. you know. He wanted to meet a friend, a benefactor, something. The Lord wants to show you. And we will continue to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Because there are many of us that need encouragement. Some people want to, 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 to give up mm -hmm. what you said, God. But we have to wait and let God say mm -hmm. it's time. So be good, be safe, be blessed until we see again. I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season.